This activity is centered around making the main navigation within the ACME site work. We begin by altering the links that should already be in place for each main navigation item. The link must point to the product's controller and pass two name value pairs. The first pair will be the action that will trigger the proper control structure in the controller. The second pair will indicate to the controller which category of products we wish to view. Remember that any data passed through a hyperlink is sent from the browser to the server via a get method. Therefore, the controller has to gather the incoming data from the get. Turning to the product's controller, a new case statement has to be built to match the value of the action name value pair. In this example, I am using category as that value. Within the case statement, the first thing is to filter, sanitize, and store the incoming value from the second name value pair. Then, a function is called to retrieve the products based on the type or category. The returned array of products, if any, are stored into a new variable. If the variable is empty, then an error message is sent. If the variable contains an array of products, then we feed it into a function which will wrap those products into an HTML container and send the HTML string back where it is stored into a local variable. Finally, we call a view where the product information will be displayed. Keep in mind that the two functions and the view that are mentioned don't yet exist. They will be built in activities to follow. In summary, this activity creates a link to pass information to the controller. The link tells the controller what we need, a list of products, and what we want, the specific category that the products must belong to.